Welcome everybody to Jeff's 180. And in this 180 seconds, I wanted to talk to you about an article that I was reading here online. And you can see I'm sitting at home working today. And this is what I want Jeff's 180 to be. Me talking to you, you know, when I read an article and have a thought on it and providing you that thought or, or additional information. And this article is about encountering bed bugs on planes. And it gives four recommendations about things you can do to prevent that. And I just wanted to address those recommendations real quick. This article was on Forbes.com. You can find it on Bed Bug Central if you want to read it. Um, and it talks about if you're on a plane and you're concerned about bed bugs, you can cover your seat you're sitting in. All of the seat covers that I've reviewed up to this point, and there's a bed bug TV episode on this, have really provided very little benefit when it comes to bed bugs. You know, the one that they refer to in this article, bug off seat covers, it's just a, a cloth seat cover, and bed bugs could easily walk on it, transfer to it, and then possibly get to you sitting on top of that cover. It really provides very little benefit when it comes to bed bugs. Now, if you wanted to put that on to protect yourself from all the other funk that might be on that seat, that's fine, I have no problem there. But again, not a huge benefit. In terms of what you can do here, there isn't a whole lot. Just know that the chance you're going to encounter bed bugs on a plane seat is still extremely remote. And so, you know, if you are still concerned, you want to just launder your clothes when you return home before you enter your house, which takes me to point four in this article, which is stop bed bugs before they get into your house. That's a great point. You know, if you're concerned about this and you think you might have had them in a seat you were sitting in, you can launder your clothes before you enter your house, or as you enter your house, you put them right in a washer or dryer. You want to empty your suitcases out and launder everything before you move it into the house. And you want to address the suitcase by either sealing it and storing it, or treating it accordingly with the proper techniques. Um, but that is the biggest point, is don't bring them home. Another recommendation they make is bring your own pillow and blanket. I don't see what this is really going to do. You know, is there a chance a, a blanket in a plane may have a bug on it? There's a chance they're supposed to be cleaning those after every single flight or after every single use, so they shouldn't have bugs on them. And then even still, you know, I, I don't see what the point of this is. If you want to, again, avoid germs on a pillow or, you know, a blanket, that's fine to bring your own. But I don't see what this is really going to do from a bed bug perspective. And then plastic bag your carry-on. Another good recommendation, but the recommendation they give in here is to use a kitchen-sized garbage bag or a shopping bag. There would be nothing more enjoyable than sitting on an eight-hour flight, sitting next to somebody who has bagged all of their personal belongings in crinkly shopping bags. That would make that flight so incredibly enjoyable. No, it would not. And so there are uh, encasements or, or, or bags or whatever you want to call these out there, such as Bug Zip, which has been especially designed for use for this purpose. Um, the zippers are proper and work against bed bugs, and the fabric is a, is a thicker plastic, and so it doesn't make that crinkly, that annoying crinkly sound all the time, and it might be better suited for this application. And so if you wanted to bag your laptop in one of these bug zips and put it under your seat in your airplane, that's a fine recommendation. In fact, that's a great recommendation. And if it's something you're concerned about, it's something that you can definitely do. And so that's kind of my overview of this article. You know, I think that the author did a fine job with it. I just think some of the information that she got or recommendations that she got from some other people didn't quite hit the mark. And that's my thoughts on bed bugs on airplanes.